In this assignment, you are going to play a game of making proteins, starting with DNA. Notice the goal of the game. You're going to make a protein from DNA, and you're going to work through the two-step process called transcription and translation. You are going to turn in your scorecard, because this is a game, and you're also going to submit your online score here from within a game itself. It's a two-step turn-in. Notice right here in the assignment it says that you have to do both in order for this to be graded. This is an excellent opportunity for you to see the process in action and you're moving the pieces around and it gives you a better appreciation for this process that your body goes through in every one of your cells to make proteins. This happens at the site of the ribosomes with the help of the three types of RNA, messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and ribosomal RNA. So you're going to have fun with this. This is what the scorecard looks like. We're going to come back to it. Speed is not important. However, uh, you, you'll notice that it's called protein synthesis race. This happens within a matter of seconds inside your body. So that's the race part of it. You're not graded on speed. You're graded on accuracy. Score 80% or higher, and you are going to earn the 20 points on this lab. Anything less than that, you're going to score lower than 20 points. To reward you for a 100% score, you're going to earn two points extra credit. You can do this as many times as you would like. So click on the link right there. It's at this Bioman website. Clicking the link will take you right to this website where you will start a new game or... If you didn't finish it in one sitting, you can save your game and then you can reload your safe game. I'll show what it looks like to start a new game. There is quite a bit of information presented on the various screens describing transcription and translation. There will also be some questions for you to answer on along the way. So you have to acknowledge the uh, information on the screen, for example, transcription is the copying of a gene. And a gene, by the way, is a section of DNA. And it is the process of making messenger RNA. That's transcription. It's the first process that must happen in order to make a protein. This occurs inside the nucleus because that is where DNA is located. And in order for transcription to occur DNA has to unzip it has to open up and just copy the piece that it needs so on the screen you see a gene and this is going to pull apart when I hit the word uh, in the in the box I get it now you can see DNA opening up there's a new sentence in the middle of the screen. Notice that the DNA molecule has unzipped to make two strands but only one is used for transcription you're going to use the top strand, so click on it with your finger. An enzyme called RNA polymerase is used to add new RNA nucleotides to make the messenger RNA. So click on the pink RNA polymerase in the top left-hand corner. Now RNA polymerase is ready to add on new nucleotides. And the four nucleotides are near the bottom of the screen. RNA polymerase is touching the first nucleotide on the top left. So find the RNA nucleotide that is complementary to the letter T. And we know that that is going to be A. So I'll click on the A at the bottom of the screen. And it zips the A up at the top and the RNA polymerase moves over. This is called transcription. Now you are to keep adding on the rest of the nucleotides by tapping them in the correct order. And be careful because if you're just guessing, you're going to have score penalties. So back at Canvas, it said you need an 80% or higher score to earn 20% on this mini lab. If you make too many mistakes, your score will not be over 80% and therefore your score will degrade. You may take this as many times as you would like to earn the 80% or higher. 
And there is a bonus for getting 100%, and that is you will get two points extra credit added to your lab score. That's 10%. So aim for 100%. Speed does not matter. So the next one. You would expect a T, right? If this was DNA, A and T pair together. But recall that in RNA, there is no thymine. There is no letter T. That is replaced by a U, which stands for uracil. So I'll tap on the yellow U. C pairs with G. A pairs with U. C, A, A, U, G, U, C, and so on. Once you finish the transcription and you move through uh, the direction of tapping on messenger RNA, it will move itself out of the screen. Follow the prompts, answer uh, the following questions, and then you get to uh, finishing this level. Save your game is recommended. You will need your uh, modern day email address and uh, you create a password because you can come back to this and pick it up later. You don't have to do it all at one time. After saving your game, you are brought to the next level. And here we have a great overview of the entire cell with our messenger RNA that was transcribed inside the purple nucleus. The directions say use the arrow keys to transport messenger RNA to where it needs to go. Near the bottom left, you can see that there is a virtual joystick and you need to just drive that small messenger RNA through the pore of the nucleus and then just drive it right into the ribosome itself like that. Click here to do translation. In order to understand translation, you must understand that a protein is made up of a string of amino acids. The order of the amino acids is very important. Even if it's off by one amino acid, the protein is quite different, maybe completely different, or it doesn't work. Or it's defective. So you, you've got a system here which is going to put the uh, amino acids together in the correct order for the protein. So DNA, by the way, is a recipe for making proteins. The first step was to make a copy of DNA that can lead the nucleus. So now there's our messenger RNA at the bottom of the screen and it is attached to the orange ribosome has a three letter word every three bases every three letters is what is called a codon so there is a codon on messenger rna now look at the little mini codon chart up on the right hand corner our first codon and messenger rna inside the orange ribosome is aug Look at the mini codon chart up at the top, and AUG is going to carry a uh, light blue amino acid. It's called methionine, or MET for short. So what is the complementary base pair for A? It is going to be U. Look up at the top. Do you see these transfer RNAs? There are two that begin with the letter U. There is one that is UAC. There is one that is UUU. Look down at messenger RNA. What is the second nitrogenous base? It is a U. What pairs with a U? Well, that is an A. So you can see the middle transfer RNA at the top of the screen is UAC, and that will match up. So UAC up in transfer RNA, that is the complementary base pair to the messenger RNA. So the three letters in messenger RNA is called a codon. The matching complementary base pair in the transfer RNA is called the anticodon. Codon matches up with anticodon. So 
you are clicking I get it. Ribosomes are placeholders for two transfer RNAs to be in the ribosome at one time. The first spot is called the P site and the second site is called the A site. So you are asked to um, the first codon is located in the P site. What's the first codon? It is AUG, so you're supposed to click on it. Find the transfer RNA with the complementary anticodon, and we've already talked about it. It is UAC. Click on it. Now, once it's clicked, and you can't quite tell that it's been selected, you are to use the virtual joystick and move that down. So if I were to click on UAC and then try the joystick, and if it doesn't move, it's just not selected. So you uh, may have to tap on it when you thought you tapped on it, tap on it again, the joystick works. So you click, I get it. Recall that the mini code on chart in the top right hand corner says that our messenger RNA code of AUG down on the ribosome means that this transfer RNA needs to be carrying a blue circle. So now we drive our transfer RNA right into a blue circle, bump into it, left, right, top, bottom. It will now attach, attach it to it. And using the virtual joystick, you drive it right into the P site. Boom, it attached. So there is uh, a third spot in the um, ribosome. It's called the E site for exit. So it's ape. First goes into the A and then the P and then uh, one transfer RNA is going to exit and leave a space for a new one to come into the A site, which is like the active site. So you're going to repeat this process now until all the codons are matched up with anticodons. You pick up each amino acid and so on. So I'll demonstrate this. Come and get it. You can see all the floating amino acids here on the cytoplasm. Okay. What is the anticodon to the codon? It is now working. If you randomly drove around, it will pick up the correct UCA is red. So I need to drive this guy into red. Picks it up. transfer RNAs with two amino acids. And that first transfer RNA left the same. Codon in the active site, which is blinking in the ribosome. Peptide protein. Three amino acids bonded together by peptide bonds. 
little circles of amino acids just floating around inside the cytoplasm. with the game you are presented with a scorecard that looks similar to this there are two things to complete they're circled at the bottom of the screen submit your score online to your teacher and when you do it will ask for you to type in my email address which is jreynolds at moderday.org then you are putting in your um, name as well as your email address and it submits the score online. You are also required to take a screenshot of your scorecard. I think the screenshot works best just by doing the normal screenshot from your iPad I don't recall if the button at the bottom right hand side of this scorecard works where it says take a screenshot. So that screenshot photo will be saved to your camera roll and you turn in this picture here at Canvas. So in summary, earn an 80% or higher scorecard to earn 20 points on this virtual lab. If you score less than 80%, then you're going to earn a lower than 20 point score on this lab. So redo it as many times as possible so that you can earn the highest grade that you would like. There is an extra credit opportunity on this lab. And if you score 100%, you'll get two extra credit points on this lab. The speed of your score doesn't matter. Uh, you're not graded on speed. It's just the accuracy of your score. So you're targeting 80% or higher. Don't forget, there's two things to turn in. If you only turn in one of these, uh, it will not be graded until you turn in both. So I'm checking your online submission with here at Canvas with the online uh, game registration. This is an excellent simulation of how proteins are made in a two-step process of transcription and translation. So you see the goal of this game was to make a protein have a great day, stay safe, be healthy, and uh, God bless.